effort. I mean, you guys keep uh, stringing these along together, and uh, <laughs> you guys will be challenging Toronto for that first overall spot. Yeah, you know, just like last weekend, you know, we just want to get better, especially with a, with a tough April. Uh, I think our offense did a great job getting us really going early, and our D settled in, blocked a lot of shots. They have a great offense, and uh, you know, I, I had a pretty, uh, pretty light night, and uh, you know, with only 35 shots, but uh, you know, a lot of a lot of guys took shots and got in lanes, and you know, I think we're playing pretty good D, and hopefully, we can keep that going for next weekend. You guys held them uh, off the board for almost 41 minutes of the game. I mean, like you said, guys are blocking shots, but not only were they blocking them, you guys you are getting a lot of goal scoring off that back end. It's got to be nice to see Sid Smith get one, and then Soupy and Sully. I mean, they're all over the floor contributing. Yeah, they, you know, those guys have been playing great all year, and uh, you know, some of those guys, you know, they don't get you know, you know it's all the credit they deserve. But you know, when when they score, it's, it's always great, you know, for them to you know get that. You know, extra little reward. You know, I think uh, you know Sully had a lot of family members there, and it's, it's great for for him. You know, he works hard, and you know Sid's just been you know our leader all year. And you know, we expect that from Supi. Supi has a good touch, so hopefully we can continue that next week. And uh, you know, our, our you guys are chipping in, making our uh, our old guys' lives a lot easier. What's been the key to the turnaround uh, defensively? Just the two goals last week and uh, five tonight. Uh, you know, I think maybe it was a little bit of that Edmonton game, a little, a little bit of a wake-up call. You know, we weren't very good, and uh, yeah, I think a lot of guys, you know, went back to the drawing board, went back to a lot of our principles, and you know, we had a couple of good practices in a row, and uh, you know, all, it seems like all our guys are buying in, and you know, we're starting to gel at the right time, and, and I think that's what we're looking for uh, going into you know a little bit of a, a playoff push here. Then you went into Toronto and came out with the victory against the Rock up there. Yeah, yeah. Again, Toronto's a great team, and you know we're just trying to play, uh, you know, in all facets of the game. And I think, uh, you know, we've we struggled early in the year playing 60 minutes, and I think you know we've done a lot better job. We've been limiting teams' runs, and uh, you know, re really stepping on teams a little bit, you know, early in the game. And I think we've had leads in the last uh, three games early in the first quarter. And, you know, for confidence for the D guys, you know, that's huge. How does it feel to wrap up that uh, playoff spot, too? You know, it's, it's one of those things where it's a little bit of a relief, but, you know, again, we want to, we're, we're trying to get home floor advantage for the whole whole playoffs, and we're, we're trying to get top spots. So, you know, we want to make our job a lot easier, uh, you know, and we just want to play, be playing good lacrosse going into the playoffs. So, uh, you know, it, it's really nice to have that, but, you know, playoff push or playoff spot wrapped up, but we just want to be playing, playing as good as we can and be going into, into the playoffs.